So much to sew, so little time. It's time for some summer travel sewing. Hello and welcome or welcome back to Sew Pomona. I'm Rebecca and I'm so glad you're here. On my channel, I love talking everything fashion and sewing with a focus on travel and capsule wardrobes. So in the beginning of August, we are going on a whirlwind trip uh, with my sister and Missy. And I am so excited for this vacation. I've not gone on a trip just by myself, you know, without my kids or my husband since the kids were born. So I am really excited for this vacation. So my sister invited me along on this trip and we are going first to New York City. Then we are flying to Palm Springs for a day and staying in the Trixie Motel, which I'm really excited about. And then we're heading to LA for her photography workshop. Um, my sister is a photography expert and uh, teacher. She teaches worldwide. And so I am going to her lecture and I'm really excited because this is just gonna be a dream trip. So of course we are going to the desert in the middle of the summer. It's gonna be crazy hot. So I am trying to plan accordingly. Please excuse, it's really stormy. It has been raining like crazy here um, in Florida. And yeah, I don't know if a rainstorm's coming or if it's just gonna stay like that. I think it's hilarious. I don't know if you can see it. My dog is hiding under the desk on a little pillow sitting there, uh, <laughs> trying to escape the storm, but be near me at the same time. I uh, tell you what I'm wearing. I am wearing, let me step back so you can see. I'm wearing my button tab white pants with my self-drafted lavender um, tank top. So this is a fully self-drafted outfit today, but I really like this together. It feels very cool and fresh, especially on such a hot day. So back to the planning. So you're gonna see, I pulled out everything from my wardrobe that I think will work for this trip. I am not bringing all of this, but I like to pull out everything and just really choose my outfits based on what I have, and then just sew a few things. Now I will say, I am sewing a lot, and it's going to look like I'm sewing like crazy, but here, um, our summer is like, if you live up north, it's like the winter where we stay inside so much because it is so hot. And I tend to do the most sewing in the summer. So I have been sewing pretty much every day after I'm done with work, beach, but I do think we go to the beach more in the winter here than we do in the summer. Let's get into the sewing. So first up, um, let me show you what I've pulled out of my closet, just so you can see what I'm thinking of bringing. Now, whenever I plan a capsule wardrobe, I like to pick a color palette. And for this color palette, I'm doing white and black with an accent of pink. I am also going to bring some browns into this, um, just because those are colors I like to wear. But I'm trying to keep a very narrow palette just so that everything can mix and match especially because we are going to so many different locations and those are gonna be very different styles of dressing. So we are going to New York City, then Palm Springs, which is going to be my crazier outfits that you'll see, and then, uh, then on to LA, which I want that to be a little more stylish and classic. So I grew up in New Jersey. I know how to travel in New York. That's not a big deal. I lived there for a while. So that part of the trip is, easy, but I've only been to LA once and I've never been to Palm Springs. So that's gonna be a whole new experience. So let me show you these clothes. So I am planning on bringing one set of PJs. I love my um, silk set that I made. I did a whole video on this if you wanna see this. I also did a planning video on this. So um, you can see those, they're also on my blog. Now, because we're going to Palm Springs, I'm going with like a 60s, 70s vintage mod look. And so I'm going to bring my mom's vintage romper uh, just for some pictures, just it's so cute. She used to have a matching purple skirt with these orange buttons on it. It was so adorable. I wish I still had that. And then I've got a lot of mix and match tees. I've got um, a white tee I self-drafted with a little tie knot. I've got a nice, uh, I've got a nice cropped uh, boxy tee. I've got a white tank top that I showed in my last video. 
I've got my pecan tank top, which this is one of my favorites for summer. It's very lightweight. And then I've got a self-drafted black tank top, another black tank top. This is also a Zoe, uh, like the other one was. I like to have a nice neutral base, and then I can layer these pieces later on. Now I've made a few uh, new makes. This is a travel pant that I was working on. Um, really, I was working on the drafting for this, so this is not a perfect pattern, but it's getting there. So um, I was experimenting with adding these like slot um, invisible pockets to the waistband. And what I like about this is because they're attached in the side seam, it gives a, almost a little bit of tummy control. So they're very nice and slimming and it's a nice wide leg. Um, yeah, so this is just a pattern I was experimenting with. This one I might take for wearing on the plane. I am not sure yet. And I will say for this trip, I'm taking my own suitcase, we're checking luggage. So I'm not really limited like I usually am for how much I'm bringing. Often when I'm traveling, I'm sharing a suitcase with a kid. So um, I'm not really too worried about having to pack super light. Um, this is a new trouser I made. This was part of my summer plans. If you wanna go back and watch my full summer video. Uh, so, this is like a little pink pant with a brown belt that I'm going to wear, and it's just a nice um, tailored linen pant. This is another one. Uh, this was basically a wearable muslin. I was experimenting with the fit on this pattern. So this is very cute, and this is made out of a stretch woven, so this could work as a travel pant. I'm just not sure if this is a little heavy for summer. So this is a maybe. And then I've got my pecan midi skirt, which is so comfortable and I feel like this mixes and matches with everything. And then I have another new make. If you saw my earlier video uh, where I did my fabric shopping in Miami, I bought this fabric from Rex Fabrics. And so I made the skirt on the bias and I had just enough left to eke out an Ajahn Kami from True Bias. So um, these both have to be hemmed, but they are almost done. And I think this is going to be really elegant. I can wear it as a one piece dress. I can wear it with a black tank top or a white tank top. Um, and I can wear this separately with uh, the black pants or with something else. And I'm going to go more into these new makes in my July makes video, so stay tuned for that. Another dress I'm considering bringing is this uh, Havana dress that I, this Havana striped dress that I made for my trip to Greece. I love that this can be dressed up and down. It's really casual and it, the color scheme goes with everything. I do have my other, um, I do have this caftan that I made for my trip to Greece. It does need some slight repairs. Some of this is coming undone, so I would have to fix that a little bit, but this it packs up so light, so I'll probably bring this one as well. I have this little jacket. This is from Sewing Workshop in this gauze. Um, this is a shirt pattern that I just made as an open jacket. And then last, I have this Style Arc. This was originally a wrap jacket that had ties that wrapped around. I removed the ties because I didn't like how it looked in this drapey fabric, but I do like how it looks just loose and open. So I may bring this one as well. When I'm planning a little mini capsule like this and I do have time to sew, I will go through my patterns and just gather inspiration. Doesn't mean I'm gonna sew all of these, but I do like to pull out what I have that really is speaking to me for this piece. So um, one thing I knew, I wanted to make some swimsuits for Palm Springs, but I am working on drafting some of my own, but those aren't ready yet. So I wanted to go with two tried and true patterns. So I have made McCall's M5400. Um, I've made View D. I've made that a few times and I know it fits really well. Um, I might try View E, but I do know this fits really well in the bust. So this is a good one to try for swimsuits. 
And then I was a tester for the face swimsuit. I did the full piece version for the, my tester suit. Um, that's on my blog if you wanna see it. So I am thinking, I had this idea, I'm gonna put up the inspiration video. Let me show you. So I just got this fabric on a whim. This is a swimsuit fabric. It does have a slight sheen, but it's just like a simple stripe. So what I was ex thinking about experimenting with was doing it on an angle and having the Vs meet up. So I'm thinking about doing with that, that with the one piece if I have enough fabric. I have to, I'll have to be very careful with my cutting because I did just order this. Because I, did, I wasn't really planning on anything with this when I started, so I don't know how much, if I have enough fabric. I think I got a yard, so we will see. Otherwise, it will probably be a bikini. <laughs> And then, okay, so this is my main fabric. That, now, I did think this print was going to be smaller when I ordered it, but it was really surprisingly hard to find the kind of fabric I wanted. I wanted something with like this bright, bold pink color, um, and I wanted something like 60s, 70s inspired. So I do think this is fun, and I'm definitely, I have tons of yardage of this. So I'm probably going to eventually make a rash guard or a beach dress or something too, because, um, I think this will be really cute. But for now, I am thinking of making either view D or view E of the McCall's pattern. I just wanna make something I know is going to fit so that I can sew it quickly. And I'll probably do a white accent on that. I bought um, some white swimwear fabric as well, just so that I can have, maybe I might do a border or the straps in the white just something uh, bold and fun. All right, so one thing I like to do when I'm planning out is I do like to pull out all my patterns. So I grabbed some stuff from the 50s to the late 70s that I had to see what I had to work with. So I'll just show you a few of these. So these have all been in my stash for a while. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to find these exact patterns, which is why I'm just showing you quickly. I'm not gonna put up screenshots or anything. But um, some of these are still in print. I think this one is. I think this one's on the Simplicity website. And then I have this one. And I find sometimes this is just great for inspiration, even if I'm not going to sew all these makes, just to get an idea of like what kind of silhouettes I'm drawn to and what I have patterns for. Now this one, that's that um, romper I showed you that my mother made. So I have made one of these. So if I, I haven't been able to find a cotton that I really like to make out of this, so I might make another one in the future. So now I'm gonna show you the one I am planning on making and then the other things that I cut out. So I did have the pattern envelope earlier today, but I have no idea where I put it. I will put the picture of this one up just so you can see the actual cover. This is Simplicity 5366. I'm gonna hold up the line drawings. So um, this is in my size. So I ordered this fabric from Emma One Sock but um, unfortunately, uh, it was the end of the bolt, so I'm just gonna show you the print. I do think it's beautiful. So there was only a yard and a half. So, oh, that's upside down. I'll just give you an idea of how this. So I think I'm gonna have to, unless there is new yardage coming in, so when the yardage comes in, I might put the sleeve on, but until then, I do not have enough to add on the extra sleeve uh, because I was only able to get a yard and a half. But luckily, um, when I went on Stone Mountain and Daughter to see what they had, they have almost the identical, I think it is the identical print to this, um, but in the blue color way. So I ordered some of that. I was hoping to show you today in the video, but the package just kept getting delayed and delayed. FedEx has been crazy lately. so. It still hasn't arrived, but it is almost identical to this. I think it's in a poplin instead of in this um, instead of in this lighter weight fabric, 
So um, it might be slightly heavier, but I, I do think I'm going to make the same dress in the blue version um, as this. And I'm gonna hold off on sewing this to see if I can get that extra yardage to make the sleeve. Otherwise, if I can't, then I will make it just uh, sleeveless instead. And I am making a simple um, black scoop neck tee. Um, I made a copy of my daughter's shirt that she got at the mall recently, and it just had a really nice scoop neck. It was cut really well. So I just put that onto my regular t-shirt pattern and made a pattern of that. And then I am making, let me show you the front of this. So I've had this ribs knit in my stash for a while, and I was gonna make it up in the winter, but um, it goes so well with the color scheme and we're going to see Barbie and everything. So I'm gonna make a little t-shirt out of this. It's a little um, cropped sleeve, short sleeve t-shirt. And this for a rib knit, it's really thin and drapey. So I think this is gonna be really nice and lightweight for summer. So that'll be just a little cute t-shirt. And then I also, um, I'll link up a picture of me in my blue version. So um, a while ago, I drafted this uh, Susie Fuhr wrap jacket from when I did her, her um, pattern making courses on Craftsy. And so I'll put up a picture of my blue and white striped one. So this time I am just making a simple white one that is in the same fabric as this t-shirt. So I'm just gonna make a little wrap jacket. It's gonna be light, it's gonna be summer weight. And I think it'll be really nice for the plane. Um, I'm not a person who wear, worries about wearing white. I wear white all the time. I rarely get it dirty. And white, I find it's like the easiest thing to get stains out of, so I don't know why people worry about wearing white so much. I mean, I find it's like the easiest thing to clean, uh, more so than some of my darker colors when I get stains on those. So I wear all white all the time, and I just don't worry about it. Ah, oh, there's my needle I was looking for earlier. All right, and then the last thing that I have cut to sew is I have a pair of Hudson pants. I'm just gonna hold up a piece of the fabric. I think this is the waistband. So I have um, this athletic wear that I got from the Fabric Fairy. Um, I really like this color blue. I think it's fun, but it's still summery. So I am cut, I cut out um, a Hudson pant that I've modified over the years as I've made mine. So this one fits me perfectly. So that's all cut and ready to go. And I might wear that one as a travel outfit. I am thinking about, um, once I got that fabric in, I was thinking about adding a little pops of blue into some of my looks. And then I pulled out some of the things I have Originally, I was gonna go with all the pink and white, but then I was like, oh, you know what? I have this adorable bag that I got in Greece. And so I would love to bring this just because it is like a little fancy thing to bring. I thought of dress up an outfit. And then I have this um, poochie scar scarf um, that my mother gave me um, a while ago. And I thought this would be really pretty, you know. I might even bring this tank top, truthfully, now that I'm looking at it and um, just to add some color to some of my simpler outfits. So I may add blue into that look too. I figure we're going to see Barbie. I can go a little crazy. So if my other fabric does come before I release this video, I will splice that into the video so that you can see what it looks like. But otherwise that is the main those are the main pieces I'm planning on sewing. Um, I don't wanna go too crazy with my sewing schedule. That's why most of these are knits because they are like, they sew up so quickly um, and it's not a big deal. So I don't like to sew too much at once, especially, um, yes, I'm making some of these 60 mod pieces, but I want everything to work in my wardrobe year round. I need my wardrobe to be sustainable. So um, I only like to craft pieces that I know I will wear again. All right, so the rain has finally come. Uh, I think you can hear the thunder and lightning out there and the dog is wandering like crazy. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned, next week I'll be back. I have a few videos coming out shortly. I have my July makes at the end of the month. 
um, a travel outfit video on how to pick out your perfect travel outfit and then uh, another video on packing for my trip. And then of course I'll show everything I'm wearing on the trip. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy sewing.